The city of Stonecrest is looking for a new mayor. Jason Larry resigned one day before he's due back in federal court to face COVID relief fraud charges. Fox 5 I team reporter Randy Travis says Stonecrest's first and only mayor did not mention his criminal troubles during a Zoom farewell speech, one repeatedly interrupted by hackers calling for him to be put in jail. Mayor Larry had already stopped presiding over city council meetings last year, taking a leave of absence to focus on his health. Today, he made that absence permanent. I'm proud to be the visionary. I'm proud to be the leader. The speech was delivered as a victory lap for Stonecrest Mayor Jason Larry to celebrate the accomplishment of DeKalb's largest city, one that only came to life five years ago after Larry and others pushed relentlessly for its creation. I did the best that I could do with what the abilities that God gave me. But federal prosecutors say Larry gave himself something he didn't deserve, more than $650,000 in COVID relief money that was supposed to go to prop up struggling businesses and churches in the city of Stonecrest. Instead, authorities say Larry insisted those groups kick back a portion of their relief money to companies he secretly controlled. He pled not guilty last year, but Larry's due in federal court Wednesday morning for a change of plea hearing, right after his resignation becomes effective. It's time for me to retire uh, from politics, uh, really get focused on my health. And also as of tomorrow at um, 10 a.m. effective, I will uh, resign and have resigned uh, as mayor of the city of Stonecrest. I ask that you all measure me by the whole story. I did the best I could do with what we had in place. Dr. Diana Doma ran against Larry in the last mayoral race and was a regular critic while on city council. Is today a good day or a bad day for the city of Stonecrest? Today is a good and a bad day. Today is a good day because he is going to step down, whether it's by choice or not. He's stepping down, so that makes it a good day. It's a bad day because Stonecrest is tainted with being such a new city with so many resources in our backyard, and yet we have not been able to, you know, vote in the right leadership that we need to take us to a higher level. Larry took no questions during his virtual speech. At one point, hackers interrupted, one posting a sign calling for Larry to be jailed. As you can tell, with technology is immature and, and ridiculous. So Larry says he's battling cancer for the third time and has other serious health issues. So what does the future hold now for him? The answer rests not in the city of Stonecrest, but now in the federal court system. Randy Travis, Fox 5 News.